I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight.
barracks are clear, but Lago still has guards at the camp and the fort. Both are in Smuggler's Forest. This looks like the camp. Time to send some guards to Hades. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. takes care of the camp and the barracks. My last target is the fort, which is also in Smuggler's Forest.
Ah, the fort at last. Should find a quiet way in.
Last of Lagos's guards. Killing him will be much easier now. Mother said Lagos is hiding in Fort Samikon. Time to go pay him a little visit.
Looking for you, Stentor. Oh, Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot. Not after Megaris. Not after what you did. King Archidomos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta and to you. We've worked together once. We can do it again. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta, but I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and why now? You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Veragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right then, I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think, but I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. Let's go!
Move! Yeah. 
No, no, no! Damn it! No, 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 no! Ah, shit! No! Put it out! Out! Καλώνει με θεά, αγλαώτη με άδικο νεστή. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Pausanias to collect the Pancration champion. My apologies. I didn't realize you were here for Testicles. Don't worry about it. I don't exactly look the part. If I may offer some advice before you get him, testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. You should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. I see her. <sighs> Another slow day. Sorry, closed. I need oil, then I'll be on my way. There's a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the Master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. I know I'm asking for a lot, but I need this oil now. I could come back and talk to your master, maybe explain the situation. What choice do I have? It's not bad, this life, if I have to stay. I'll give you the recipe, but that's as far as I go. You make it yourself. I can do that. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? This one, the oil of Athena. I'll take some of this. Almost done. Now to add... Just a bit of myrrh. Testicles is going to smell great. I hope he appreciates this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I almost want to keep it for myself.
to be careful not to get spotted. Let's not try to start a revolt while we're here. Hey, Ekoros!
Must be tested. I'd be a fool to take this boat into deeper water. from the great champion Testicles. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. <laughs> champion! Cause I'm Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil. My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. I've got your oil. 
You'll get it when we arrive. That's not fair! You don't want to use your special oil before the big fight, do you? Good point. Very good point. Let's get you to the Olympics then, huh? To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? <sighs> he better fucking win. think they'd just kill each other, like everywhere else. That's the magic of the Olympics. To your positions! Awaiting your orders, Commander! Testicles, it's an honor to sail with you. Your victory at the Pythian Games is legendary. Yes, I am! What made you kick him in the head instead of going for a cracker? Felt like it. Razor! Improvisation. Keep your opponent on guard. Good strategy. Strategies for people who don't hit hard enough.
this category. I'm gonna win! Are you excited for the games, Alexios? Thrilled. Stand down! Woo! Stand before you stand. Feet firmly planted, even in sand. Our spirits soar. The Spartan never do the dance. Huh? It's a poetry. Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little goat. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner? You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I like to be oiled. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Well, looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. Thank you. 
Unbelievable craftsmanship. Much better than the statue on Kefalonia. I need to talk to him. I'm here for the Pankration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. He's a little under the water. I mean, weather. I'm the one taking his place. Okay, okay. Save it for the fight. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pankration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. 
Time to go. Welcome all! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart, the Pankration. I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action! For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! Fuck off! Ah, that's not fair! It hurts! Where is your tongue? That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you will be seeing stars! That's how you do it! The crowd loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Alexios against our reigning champion, Voryavs! <sighs> Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing... a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias, respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be too, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. <coughs> Stay with you. I'll find out what happened. Extend to me your olive branch, and I will take the grove.
Greece is finally free of your influence.
Come on, place your bets. Place your bets now. Aletis has plenty of rugby for you to win. Your pitch could use some work. You would attract more customers if you sounded more enthusiastic. Everyone's betting against Peter Goz. Rumor is he's off his game. If it's true, I'm going to be ruined. What if I recited a poem? One of Pindaros's. You know, to inspire him to greatness. Look, um, Peter Koz is good, but uh, he's not really that kind of athlete. All right. Let's hear your plan, then. Just go see what's wrong. See if there's a way to help him win. For Athens. For Drachmi. I'll see what's wrong with Pithekos. Thank you. I'll split the winnings with you if you can sort things out. Pithekos. Aletis sent me to help you. Really? Can you perform wonders? On occasion. My lucky javelin. It broke. Can you fix it? Aren't you meant to use the official javelins? Yes, but it was my lucky one. I can't win without it. When you say lucky, you mean special. As in made to give you an advantage. Look, my javelin was hollow as a reed and nearly as light. But it looked just like an Olympic one. If you really want to help, bring me another like it. And I'll win the games for Athens. And I'll let us. Don't worry. I'll get you a javelin. Thanks. Maybe I've still got a chance to win. This looks like it'll work. I got you a javelin. Good. Let's take a look. This is terrible. So heavy. Zeus himself couldn't throw it. The javelin is just a tool. You're the real winner. You didn't get all the way to the Olympic Games just to lose. You think so? I know so. Throw this javelin and prove your point. I'll do it. Thanks, Mistios. I should find the lettuce. Good, you're back. Get it done? Of course. Excellent. How about a little bet on our boy, then? No, I've done my job. And now I want my drachmi. Suit yourself. More drachmi for a lettuce. Ah, you are a welcome sight. Your beauty brings light into the darkness of what has become my life. It's good to see you too, Phidias. Now, this is important. No one saw you come here, did they? No. Why? You're sure you weren't followed? Good, good. 
They're out there, though. Watching. Waiting. You're safe here. Ah, my beautiful innocent. If only the gods would allow me time to grant you immortality in bronze. There'll be time. But the weave of my life is unraveling. I need your help if I'm to stop it. What makes you think you're in trouble now? The other day, I received a skitali and a note. Someone left you a piece of wood and a letter. I can see why you're frightened. Oh, it's so much more than that. So where do I need to go? The Temple of Zeus, of course! It's here in Olympia. The clue for the Skitali should be around the statue. Okay. If it'll put your mind at rest, I'll help. Thank you. Now hurry and look to the statue of Zeus in his temple to find the message. Once I have the clue, I can decipher it with the Skitali. Don't worry. I'll be back as soon as I can. This must be what Phidias was looking for. Phidias is paranoid, but maybe it's not all in his mind. Get back to Fidia so he can decipher the message. So, what was the message? Did it give you the information you were looking for? In a manner of speaking, the message you gave me, I wrapped it around the rod. You wrapped it around your rod? Yes, the Skitali. It's ingenious. The right message for the right rod. Wrap the cloth around it, and the letters should align, giving you the message. Yes, very interesting. But what did it say? It's directions. Well, don't keep me waiting. What did it say? It's a list of statues, and uh, there's something else, but it's not complete. Do you think the complete message will be revealed once all the statues have been visited? I would assume so. Someone's gone to a lot of trouble to ensure this remains a secret. Maybe it will reveal the identity of the ones who want to dispose of me. Will you help? Tell me what I need to do. There are three locations listed. Each region has a statue of some renown placed there. So it's safe to say that at each of these statues, there'll be a clue. Yes, it'll be quite a journey. The statues are scattered all over. There's one near Kithira, another at Thassos, and also Samos. I should be on my way. This will take some time. Of course. But I am excited to see where this will lead. As am I. Stay safe, Phidias. You too. And return to me as soon as you have all the clues. Don't worry, I will. This won't be an easy task, but whatever the messages reveal must be important.
Es mía, Gas. Alexios, please. If these fools break the truce, thief! You're on to talk, you double dealing dog! Nobody wants trouble here. You know what will happen to you both if you break the truce. Now, if someone can tell me what's going on. This dishonorable cur stole from me! Huh. You call me a thief? You're the thief! Enough! I'll ask the questions. It seems unlikely that they would rob each other at the same time. You have to find out who stole their drachmi. I can't believe they would do this to each other. Whatever their issues, they've always respected the Olympic truce. I'll find out what happened, and protect the truce. If you prove it, Makar, I will reward you well. As will I, if you bring me evidence of Lelech's double dealing. And what if it's neither of you? Then they will both reward you. Very well. Agreed. Did you see anything? No, nope. Not nothing. Far less than anything. So, you saw something? Well, only if you count torches. But they crept up on me, they did. Must have been at least 30 of them. Torches crept up on you? If there were 30 of them, why isn't the ground stomped flat? Eh, <laughs> skin sandals. Very soft. Don't leave a trace. Anyway, hard to tell how many as I was uh, unconscious. Tell me the truth, or I'll beat it out of you. Are you the thief? No, please. Look, it wasn't me. I, I fell asleep. Didn't see anything apart from the torches. And you didn't investigate? I didn't want to leave my post. But you'd already been robbed. If I deserted my post, I'd be charged with the reliction of duty. Then I'll let you get back to work. These crypts have been opened. There is no sign of forced entry. Hmm, a note. Take all that you can carry, and meet me at the ruins where we first consummated our love. Soon we will be free. I've heard talk of ruins outside the city, and from what the guards said, the torches were heading in that direction. The thief.
So, thieves, I finally catch you. Please, we're not thieves. Yet here you are with stolen goods. You don't understand. This is rightfully ours. It's our inheritance. Who are you exactly? They are my daughter and his son! Father! This is how you repay me for raising you? By running off with some woman squirted from my enemy's loins? This robbery has brought you together. Lelech, Makar, you worked together to find out what happened to your drachmi. Actually, the guard told us. And his family stole my money. As yours did mine. But think how much you could achieve working together. You're a mistress. Carry out your duty and kill the thieves. I will pay you handsomely. Pater, no! I agree. I will match Makar's price on this. Do what you were hired to do. You would kill your own son and daughter? <laughs> we have other children. Now, are you a mistress or not? I will not slaughter innocents. Your families would stand a better chance for the future without the both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it to come to this, but now we can forge a new future for our two families, one built on love. I wish you luck with that. Dishonored yourself and the games. Please, let me explain. No excuses. You know the price for your transgression. What crime has this woman committed? Exactly that. Her crime is that she is a woman. It's news to me that's now a crime. Shouldn't you lock yourself up first, then? I am the priestess of Dimitra. I preside over the games. She's a married woman who tried to watch them, disguised as a man, no less. She doesn't deserve to be punished like this. This is nothing. Death is the punishment. She shall be thrown from the mountain. Help me! Prove I have a right to see my son compete! You have no right. You broke a sacred tradition, and for that, you will be punished. Your laws are wrong, and I'll prove it. As you're so outspoken in her defense, I will give you a chance. Present me evidence of Kalipatira's noble heritage, or she will die as she ruled, to appease the gods. I should find Kalipatira's son. He should be able to help prove this matter's innocence.
Do you know Kalipatira? Hmm. I don't know her well, but she dotes on her son, and she's always making offerings. Offerings? For her husband. She's a pious woman. He's long since crossed the sticks, and she misses him terribly. But we all have our time. Thank you. You've been a great help. Do you know Kalipatira? I seen that one, all right. Always hanging around the athletes' tents. Disgraceful, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. All those young, oiled, rippling bodies gives you shivers, muscles everywhere. Oh, disgusting it is. And her a married woman and all. There's no harm in looking at an attractive man. Is there? Yes, yes there is. You young ones are always thinking with what's between your legs. And she definitely was. Saw her meet a man regularly on that bench over there. You saw her meet a man. Thank you. Uh. Hmm. The poem, The Agoras of Rhodes. Dedicated by Pindaros himself. 2K. Always be proud, little one. Your father is the greatest of Pankratian champions. I'm looking for Kalipatira's son. Do you know him? I should hope so. It's me! Your mother has been accused of impiety. What? What's going on? What happened? Please, calm down. Calm down? Do you know what they'll do to her? She's fine for now. She snuck into the stadium to watch you. And I need to prove that she had the right to do it. If anyone did, it was matter. Her brothers were champions, as I am now. No one honors the Olympics like her. Thank you. Sit tight, and I'll prove your mother was in her right to attend the games. What's this? I have always longed for you. Kalipatira has an admirer. That priestess was in a hurry to carry out her sentence on Kalipatira. I should find them quickly. We are gathered here today to carry out the will of the gods, to carry out justice. Please, you must believe me! Wait! You found the evidence you were looking for? Yes, Kalipatira is the daughter of the Agoras. I found the poem of the Agoras of Rhodes, dedicated to the family by Pindaros. And this proves her story? I talk to her son and people who know her. She is a good woman who loves the games and respects the gods. 
Her family has turned out champions for three generations. Perhaps we have judged her too harshly. Her family has been a credit to the Olympic legacy. As you say, it would be a shame to tarnish such a proud family name. The gods forgive you. Go. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Nobody deserves such a fate. Kronos. Oh. Is that a baby or the Omphalos you're eating? Would you like to learn about your future? The Oracle at Delphi ruined my life. You think I want to hear your lies too? No worries. How about I clean your sandals? Not today. Then what about your... I don't need anything. Go. Well, no accounting for taste, but shoot yourself. What is it with the Olympics? Everyone's out to make drag me. Malaka! My drag me! Hey! Stop! Thief! Hey! Thief! Looks like Phoebe. And as nimble a thief. I have to find her. The Sanctuary of Olympia. Where the greatest athletes compete for fame and glory. Hey! Come back here! Thief! A street thief. Just like Phoebe. You led me on a good chase. But I caught you. Hand it over. Hand what over? My drug me. Give it back. Here, please, don't hurt me! They made me do it! I didn't want to! Honest! <laughs> Hush. I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. But the captain will! Sounds like the captain needs a good talking to. Don't talk, just hit. He even stole my mother's necklace from me. Says I'll get it back if I steal from him. It's all that I had left of her. I'll help you get your necklace. Why would you care? You remind me of someone. Someone very special. I should be careful. High security here. You'd better stay over there! Oh, 
not. Why do I feed those little shits? Let them steal their own food. Look at them. If you don't get them, they'll be too weak to run away. If they get caught, you'll have to pay new ones. You want me to give them your food? Maybe I should give you more. Set an example for the brat. No, you don't! You're not taking it out. Get the fuck out of my car before I beat you like the dog that you are! <laughs> This must be Maya's necklace. Malaka kept it on him. I should return to Maya. Get back here! got something for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you! What happened to Alopex? You know, the guy who distracted you while I nabbed your purse? I spared him. He's promised to help you, and the others. Good, I always liked him. He used to share his food with us and stand up for us when the Athenian got mad. You'll do fine. Take care. Thanks for saving us from the Athenian. Now we get to keep everything we see. That's a nice horse, Socrates. It's a very nice horse. A sturdy horse. It's also a stolen horse. Socrates the horse thief. I can almost hear the stories they will tell. Aristophanes will love these. Unfortunately, those stories would be entirely fabricated. Although, I would like to see if you believe the story should still be told once you know the truth. What story is that? There is a man nearby who is responsible for stealing the horse. I've been contemplating the proper course of action, but I'd like to know what you think is right. And how should I make my decision? Your thoughts are your own, but speaking to the thief himself may help you decide. 
can such a crime be justified? It's an interesting thought. Where is the thief now? I told him to wait by the stable southwest of here. If you caught him stealing a horse, what's to say he won't just run away? The hope of keeping the horse. That's where you come in. I'll let him tell you the rest. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. That's the thief. You won't escape. Are you the one who stole the horse? Socrates said I should talk to you. Bad enough being caught, but to have a Mystios judge me. Better than an Athenian guard. Anything to say? The man I stole it from won't even miss it. He has plenty of others, while my only horse died last week. If I had the Drachmi to buy a new one, I would have. I have enough information to make a decision. I hope you can understand. Wouldn't you do the same if it was your family? You're you will not for. walk away this time! Have you decided what should be done? If he needs the horse more than the man he stole it from, let him keep it. It will do him more good. So, determining whether a crime deserves a consequence or reward is dependent on the reasons behind it? An intriguing thought, although I can see how dangerous such thinking might be. The real question is whether my decision matters at all. Or if this was just another test to see what I would do. There is a good chance it is both, but an equally good chance it is neither. Now you're not making sense on purpose. Let me ask you one more thing. If one man kills another in order to save many, can his actions be considered just? Or should the man be punished? If the action was for a good reason, then he is in the right. So, in times like these, people like us get to determine the law. Many would believe a murder still deserves consequence. The people whose lives were saved would disagree. Then perhaps making choices that affect the most people for good is the correct path. Wouldn't you agree? Are we done yet? I can't stay here all day. Of course you can't. It's a luxury few can afford. Even those with the time for it often lack the mental capacity for such things. Okay. 